Hey guys, my name is Jason with Metrotech Automotive. In today's episode, we're going to talk about some of the core products that you're going to want to have when you're starting to wash your car. First and foremost, I want to talk about safety. Uh, you definitely want to have your latex gloves, earplugs if you need, if you're using air guns or pressure washers. You want to have your safety glasses, very, very important. Glasses and gloves, probably my top two that you're using. You want to have these on anytime you're using type of chemicals. Um, also aprons, um, if you're using any type of buffing or polishing tools, I like to have the aprons on, but aprons are always good to have. But these main, if you're, if you're doing interiors of cars also, uh, you can use these dust masks here. Depending on which product you're using or what type of car you're using, how bad it is, you're going to want these dust masks on as well. But these are your core safety products here. Remember, main two, safety glasses and gloves. Those are the top two. Um, next, you're going to need chemicals. So your main chemicals that you're going to want are the Clean All, Tough Enough, Glass Cleaner. Obviously, your car wash soap you'll get out of the chemical cabinet, um, finish enhancer, and your tire dressing. Um, these right here, make sure all of your bottles are also always labeled and you'll see here all of these are labeled here. Um, so you'll want to have your chemicals ready to go. Um, next important thing I want to talk to you about is before you go to start washing a car, I want you to think about something for a second, you know, to, to be smart. Um, you need to have separate buckets for separate things that you're washing on the car. So wash only bucket. So this is for the paint only, wash only. Inside your wash mitt here, you're gonna mean you're gonna have your wash mitt, bug sponge, some guys will have a microfiber, but these are the things you want in your wash. This is what you're gonna to use to wash the car. Wheels, your wheel bucket. The wheel bucket here, as you'll see, has everything to clean wheels. Long brush, comb brush to get behind the wheels, lug nut brush. Some guys will even use a wash mitt um, also in their, in their wheel bucket just to get behind the spokes uh, when they're doing the wheels as well. Most importantly though, separate bucket. Um, last but not least, we're gonna have a rinse only bucket. So this is mainly for um, plain clean water. You can keep chamois in this bucket, um, but this is, the key to keeping cross contamination down. So the main thing is having these grit guards in each bucket. So when you have it in here, as you can see here, your wash mitt, your bug sponge is not sitting in the bottom of the bucket. So this keeps your brush, whether you're using your brushes here, you have same thing here. One brush is for the paint, one brush is for the wheels and tires. You don't want to cross contaminate these things. This is probably, having separate buckets um, is, is probably the number one thing you can do in your detail shop to reduce scratches, to reduce love marks on the car. We're gonna talk later about, in the beginner series, about how to wash the car properly, how to do wheels properly. That'll be in series to come. But, so these things right here, you definitely wanna have different buckets for. If you can only have two buckets in your shop, have one for the paint, which is just your car wash soap, and one for the wheels and tires, because it makes a big, big difference as you're cleaning your wheels and tires, you're getting brake dust, road debris, tar, everything is on those wheels and tires. It's the closest thing to the ground. So that is the dirtiest parts on the car, are the wheels and tires. So obviously brake pad material, brake pads obviously you guys didn't know, brake pads are made out of metal. Those metal shavings, those black brake dust that you see on the, on the cars, the German cars are really bad about it. Mercedes, BMW, Audis. Um, you don't want to transfer that. You don't want to use the same bucket that you're washing the paint with. It's the same thing, you've got those metal shavings off the wheels. So it makes good sense to not cross contaminate the wheel bucket with the, with the wash bucket. So onto that also, just some other things that you may see. These also guys, these very, very easily stick in and out of here. Um, a lot of guys will even set their, their wash mitt when they're done. They can clean out their tools onto these as well. Um, fantastic material. But this is, you know, just having this in your buckets will ensure you that you're not scratching up the cars. 
and cleaning out your brushes whenever you use them. There's a couple other tools you're going to need. Obviously a chamois. There's a couple of different chamois that we offer. Um, this is probably one of the most ones that we use. It's a synthetic chamois. This is a fantastic product to dry the car off with. Use compressed air as well if you have it. Uh, it's a good, safe way to get water off your car. Um, a couple other things here you're going to need, obviously, microfiber towels. Um, we're going to have a whole separate episode on microfiber towels, how to take care of them, how to store them, how to clean them. Because this, guys, microfiber towels, just like technicians in a, in a, in a service shop, you know, technicians are only as good as the tools that they use. You can't ask someone to do a 90,000 mile timing belt service if all they have is a crescent wrench from Sears. You know, so I mean, microfiber towels, that's a detailer's number one tool in the shop. So you have to take care of these towels. A couple of different towels that you'll see is you're gonna have these low nap microfiber towels. These are fantastic for windows. You know, this is probably one of my favorite window towels because it's streak free and lint free, most importantly. Um, these surgical towels here that we offer are also fantastic window towels. And you'll notice, guys, these aren't towels for the wiping wax off the paint. You know, that's what microfiber towels are for. You know, you guys who are just coming in the shop, just getting, you know, your feet wet into detailing, um, I think it's valuable to talk to you guys about what towel does what, because when you get into a shop, you want to know. I've seen guys actually trying to wipe wax off a black car with one of these towels. Not going to work. So it's just going to spread it around. But these are fantastic for windows. Windows is what I use these towels for. Another towels that you'll have for general purpose are terry cloth towels. That's just like your regular white. But most importantly, guys, in this beginner's episode for these core type tools, safety, number one. Safety is always number one. Safety glasses and gloves you want to have and I want to make sure you guys are taking care of your buckets. So safety, your buckets, using separate buckets, you'll be in good shape. You won't have any problems scratching the cars or anything like that. But other than that, thank you guys. I really appreciate your time. Thanks.